Let's now review some of the properties we can determine about the graph of a quadratic function just from looking at its formula. What can we tell about the graph of a parabola from the formula, in particular from the coefficients of x squared of x and of the constant term? Well, one thing we know immediately is that the c value in ax squared plus bx plus c is the value where you cross the y-axis. It's the y-intercept. The reason for that is when you cross the y-axis, x is 0. So you can determine that y-value just by plugging a 0 in for x. And if you do that, all that's left for the output is c. Another thing you can determine is whether the parabola opens upward or downward, and you can see that just from looking at the coefficient of x squared. If that coefficient is positive in the general form of the parabola, then the parabola opens upward, and if that coefficient is negative, the parabola opens downward. One more thing that's useful to remember is how to determine the location of the vertex. Remember that on the parabola that opens downward, the vertex is the lowest point, I'm sorry, on a parabola that opens upward, it's the lowest point. On a parabola that opens downward, it's the highest point. And you can find the x-coordinate of that vertex using this ratio, negative b divided by 2a. Let's see all this put to use in an example. Let's describe the graph of the parabola given by the equation y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 1. The first thing we want to do is identify the coefficient values. Now you don't see it here, but there's a hidden 1 in front of the x squared. So our a value is really negative 1. The b value we can read as 4. The c value we can read as 1. And then the y-intercept we know is the c value. It's 1. That's where we cross the y-axis. The parabola has a coefficient of x squared that's negative. a is negative, so the parabola opens downward. And then let's find the vertex. The x-coordinate of the vertex is given by that formula negative b over 2a. In this case, b is 4, a is negative 1, negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2, so the x-coordinate of the vertex is 2. We actually don't have to stop there. We can also find the y-coordinate of the vertex once we know the x-coordinate, because all we have to do is take that x-coordinate and plug it back into the equation of the parabola. So in that case, we'll be replacing the x's with 2. Negative 2 squared, well, you square the 2 first, so you get 2 squared is 4, negative 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 4 plus 8 plus 1 works out to positive 5. So the vertex is at the point with x coordinate 2, y coordinate 5. And so now I could sketch this. I have a parabola opening downward. The highest point is at 2 comma 5. I know that I'm going to have a y-intercept at a height of 1, and the x-axis should be a little bit below that. Here's one more thing we can do. Let's take advantage of the way we found the vertex to rewrite a given parabola in vertex form. So in this case, we have the general form of the parabola, y equals 3x squared minus 12x minus 1. And we want to rewrite it in this form 
a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. When you're writing it in this form, h and k represent the x and y coordinates of the vertex. So we can easily rewrite it in this form if we can figure out the correct values for h and k for the x and y coordinates of the vertex. The a here is the same as the a in the general form. So our a is still 3. Let's go ahead and write down b and c since we can see those in the original equation. The coefficient of x is negative 12, that's b, and c is negative 1. I want to find the vertex. Well, h is the x coordinate of the vertex, so I can use the negative b over 2a formula to find that. b is negative 12. a is 3. Negative negative 12 is positive 12. 2 times 3 is 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. And then I can plug that back in to get the y coordinate of the vertex, which is k. So I take 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 minus 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So I'm looking at 12 minus 24 minus 1. That works out to negative 13. So the vertex is at the point 2 comma negative 13. And we use the coordinates of that vertex to write down the vertex form of the parabola. The words vertex form refer to the shape of the equation. y equals a, we already know that's 3, times x minus h, we just figured out h is 2, that quantity gets squared, plus k, k is negative 13, so I'm just going to write minus 13.